<clears throat> nice blue sky, wonderful day today. You may be wondering, what's gonna happen today? Well, today is the day these bad boys have to come off. Now, our issue is they're one-way screws. So we're gonna have to cut our own thread into that one-way screw and take it off. So you just take a look, look just like look at that, one way all the way. Either way, what I think we're gonna do first is we're gonna get the grinder. That is the only option I see at the moment and I'm gonna have to cut my own thread. By the way, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sids. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, share, and all of that great stuff. What we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be taking off the license plates, then we're gonna to go to the department, we're gonna get them to hold that, they're gonna issue us some new state, um, new plates, sorry, but they're gonna be like state plates, so they're not gonna be personalized or anything. Putting that on there, um, just so I keep um, my plates for my car because I don't want the new owner having those plates. We're just gonna hop straight to it. First things first, we're gonna to have to get the grinder because that's the first thing we gotta do before we take off the plates. I'll take you through the whole entire process. All right, well, so I went into the garage. So let me tell you something that just happened. I went to the garage to go and find the grinder and I'm like, oh, it's gone. I wonder where it's gone. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just open the trunk. For some reason, I'm like, because my dad uses this car as like a half work thing as well. And so that I go into the back of this car, I'm like, why don't I pop the trunk and see if there are any tools in there? You know what I found? An abundance of shit and the grinder itself in there. So I'm gonna take the grinder out here, obviously. And I'm gonna hook this up. Remember the little tool my dad has, which is this thing right here. Now I'm pretty sure this is gonna be 110% more useful if, if it can cut how it's meant to cut. I'm gonna show you up close how these one-way screws work. All right, so that's the one-way screw right there. Now, when you try to, you can tighten it by going the one way, which is to the right, as you see. But then when you want to loosen it, and when you go left to loosen it, you know what it does? It slips up here, and it just slips off. So that's how it's anti-theft, one way through like that. So the thing I'm gonna do now is, was gonna use a grinder, but out of safe concerns, because it, I mean, we're using a grinder right next to the car, right next to the paint. Basically, I could damage the plate even itself on there. So we're gonna try to use this little tool here. You can turn up the speed on here and see if I can cut my own thread into it. Straighten it out at the top here so I have a nice edge to cut. It, that is tightening it, but it gives me sort of because the way it is designed, because it's a one-way thing, if I put it up vertically, I can cut it directly in half. When I cut it directly in half, then I can basically just put my own thread in through there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna attempt to cut this here with this nice little tool and not use a grinder. The grinder is a last resort, so let's hope we don't have to use a grinder. I think safety should be a number one priority because I have sparks flying. So as sick as I look with these safety glasses on, it's not gonna be as sick as the work I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna put you up on here and show you up close, hopefully, of me cutting this bit right here. So far, basically done that up a little bit. So I'm just gonna cut it in, cut it in a bit more and finish it up. We're gonna attempt to un we're gonna attempt to unscrew it now. Hopefully, I did a good job, and hopefully, I know what I'm doing. Oh, <gasps> oh, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay. As you can see, it worked. The progression on this one. Hold up, I'll put it real, real close. As we can see there, cut my own little thread there in the middle. Screwdriver taking it out. It's already come off a little bit But obviously I need to drive I need to drive with plates on So I'm bringing a screwdriver with me 
I'm gonna leave that little slit in there. I'm gonna leave it out a little bit so I can take it off easily in case one of them accidentally messes up. But yeah, so we should be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and do the one to the left here. Show you guys that one. And then we'll get to the front. Line it straight up vertical. successful okay so we've done that one successfully we've done these two so this plate can basically come off and jiggle a little bit but that's fine so I'm gonna leave it loose a little bit I'm gonna keep this little one with me Okay, I decided to go full speed on that one and that was a bit hectic, but I think that's fine. Okay, successful. All right, so we've now all finished it. We can take off our safety goggles. I made sure that I can loosen it as well as I can tighten it. So I can reuse it when I go swap the plates over. This, this is a lifesaver tool because you can really get into tight spaces. But if you don't have this tool, a grinder is fine. Just try and grab a thin, thin blade of a grinder. So then you can cut like a thin line because all you really need to do is just make it enough to just fit this end in. That should be fine. But the issue with the grinder is you may accidentally scratch your license plate because it is a lot bigger. But if you're not too worried about your license plates being scratched, in my case I was, I was lucky enough to have this tool. If I didn't have this tool, I would have taken extra, extra precaution on this and I wouldn't have been so quick and violent with it basically. But yeah, either way, that's the one way you could take off the anti-theft screws. There's probably a tool to do it, but a DIY took me literally like five minutes to do this. Okay, so I've packed everything that I needed up. I'm gonna get in the car. I'm gonna head straight down there. Don't forget to bring the screwdriver. That's an important thing. As well as your car keys, because you're gonna need it to drive. Otherwise, you can't turn your car on. Make sure you bring in the same car you're changing the plates over with. But yeah. So I've got my little screwdriver with me. We're gonna head down there, and I will see you guys down there. I'm gonna take the plates off now go in there deal with it hopefully it doesn't take too long because usually with licensing centers it does seem pretty bit busy so we, I may have to wait for quite a bit but hopefully we can get done they can issue our state plates and then we can be on our way one step closer that is that that is all done all right children it is all finished I will show you the beautiful state plates that it has on horrendous but yeah looks like a piece of shit See just there, so that's gonna be handed off to the new owner. So that is one thing that is done. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, leave a comment. If you guys wanna check out a hella funny video, it's me and my friend working on a Subaru, it's the info card at the top over here. Um, yeah, we were working on his timing belt, that thing was completely shredded, but it was fun doing it nevertheless, throwing some jokes here and there, but yeah. Anyway guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget, work hard, stay positive. So you find your way back home